Joshua chapters 18 through 20. And the whole congregation of the children of Israel assembled together at Shiloh, and set up the tabernacle of the congregation there, and land was subdued before them. There remained among the children of Israel seven tribes which had not yet received their inheritance. And Joshua said unto the children of Israel, How long are you slack to go possess the land which the Lord of God your fathers hath given you? Give out from among you three men for each tribe, and I will send them, and they shall rise and go through the land, and describe it according to the inheritance of them, and they shall come again to me. They shall divide it into seven parts. Judah shall abide in their coast on the south, and the house of Joseph shall abide in their coast on the north. Ye shall therefore describe the land into seven parts, and bring the description hither to me, that I may cast lots for you here before the Lord our God. But the Levites have no part among you, for the priesthood of the Lord is their inheritance. And Gad and Reuben, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, have received their inheritance beyond Jordan on the east, which Moses the servant of the Lord gave them. And the men arose and went away, and Joshua charged them that went to describe the land, saying, Go and walk through the land and describe it, and come again to me, that I may here cast lots for you before the Lord in Shiloh. And the men went and passed through the land, and described it by cities into seven parts in the book, and came again to Joshua to the host at Shiloh. And Joshua cast lots for them in Shiloh before the Lord, and there Joshua divided the land unto the children of Israel according to their divisions. And the lot of the tribe of the children of Benjamin came up according to their families, and the coast of their lot came forth between the children of Judah and the children of Joseph. Their border on the north side was from Jordan, and the border went up from the side of Jericho on the north side, and went up through the mountains westward, and the goings out thereof were the wilderness of Beth Haven. And the border went over from thence toward Luz, to the south side of Luz, which is Bethel, southward. And the border ascended to Atarothader, near the hill that lieth on the south side of the nether Beth Horon. And the border was drawn thence, encompassed, the corner of the sea southward, from the hill that lieth before Beth Horon southward. And the goings out thereof were at Kirjath Baal, which is Kirjath Jearim, a city of the children of Judah. This was the west quarter. And the south quarter was from the end of Kirjath Jearim, and the border went out on the west, and went out to the well of waters of Nephtoah. And the border came down to the end of the mountain that lieth before the valley of the son of Hinnom, and which is in the valley of the giants on the north, and descended to the valley of Hinnom, the south side of Jebusai, unto the south, and descended to Enrogel. And was drawn from the north, and went forth to Enshemesh and went forth toward Goliath, which is over against the going up of Adumim, and descended to the stone of Bohan, the son of Reuben, and passed along toward the side over against Arabah northward, and went down unto Arabah. And the border passed along to the side of beth northward, and the goings of the border were on the north bay of the Salt Sea at the south end of Jordan. This was the south coast. And Jordan was the border of it on the east side. This was the inheritance of the children of Benjamin, by the coast thereof round about, according to their families. Now the cities of the tribe of the children of Benjamin, according to their families, were Jericho, and beth Hogla, and the valley of Kezes, and beth Ereba, and Zemaraim, and Bethel, and Avam, and Para, and Ophrah, and Kifar Ha'am Monai, and Ophni, and Gaba, and twelve cities with their villages. Gibeon and Ramah and Biraboth, and Mizpah and Kephira and Moza, and Rechem and Irpil and Tarala, and Zela, Eliph, and Jebuzai, which is Jerusalem, Gibeath and Kirjath, fourteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the children of Benjamin according to their families. And the second lot came forth to Simeon, even through the tribe of the children of Simeon according to their families, and their inheritance was within the inheritance of the children of Judah. And they had in their inheritance Beersheba, and Sheba, and Moleda, and Hazar Shual, and Bala, and Azam, and Eltolad, and Bethel, and Horma, and Ziklad, and Bethmarkar both, and Hazar Susa, and Bethlebaoth, and Sharuhan, thirteen cities in their villages. Ain, Remon, and Eter, and Ashan, four cities in their villages. And all the villages that were round about these cities to Baalath Beer, Ramoth of the south. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Simeon, according to their families. Out of the portion of the children of Judah was the inheritance of the children of Simeon, 
for the part of the children of Judah was too much for them. Therefore the children of Simeon had their inheritance within the inheritance of them. And the third lot came up for the children of Zebulun, according to their families, and the border of their inheritance was unto Sarid. And their border went up toward the sea, and Marala, and reached to Dabasheth, and reached to the river that is before Jachnaim, and turned from Sarid eastward toward the sun rising unto the border of Kisloth Tabor, and then goeth out to Dabarath, and goeth up to Japhiah. And from thence passeth along the east to Gitahi Fair, and Aitakazin, and goeth out to Ramon Methor to Nea. And the border compasseth it on the north side to Hanathon, and the outgoings thereof are in the valley of Jephthael, and Katath, and Nahalal, and Shimron, and Idala, and Bethlehem, twelve cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the children of Zebulun, according to their families, these cities with their villages. And the fourth lot came out to Issachar, for the children of Issachar, according to their families. And their border was toward Jezreel, and Kesuloth, and Shunem, and Haphraim, and Shion, and Aneharath, and Rabbath, and Kishion, and Abes, and Remeth, and Enganim, and Enhada, and Beth Pazazes, and the coast reacheth to Tabor, and Shehazmaima, and Beth Shemesh, and the outgoings of their border were at Jordan, sixteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Issachar, according to their families, the cities and their villages. And the fifth lot came out for the tribe of the children of Asher, according to their families. And their border was Helkath, and Hali, and Betan, and Akshaph. And Elamelech, Ahmed, and Mishael, and reacheth to Carmel westward, and to Shihor Libnath, and turneth toward the sun rising to Beth Dagon, and reacheth to Zebulun, and to the valley of Jephthael, toward the north side of Beth Nemech, and Nael, and goeth out to Cabal on the left hand, and Hebron, and Rehob, and Haman, and Cana, even unto great Zidon. And then the coast turneth to Ramah, and to the strong city Tyre, and the coast turneth to Hosea, and the outgoings thereof are at the sea, from the coast to Akzib. Uma also, and Aphek, and Rehob, twenty and two cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Asher, according to their families, these cities with their villages. The sixth lot came out to the children of Naphtali, even for the children of Naphtali, according to their families. And their coast was from Heleph to from Alon to Zeananim and Adamai, Nekeb, and Jabneel unto Lakum, and the outgoings thereof were at Jordan. And then the coast turneth westward to Asnoth Tabor, and goeth out from thence to Hukok, and reacheth to Zebulun on the south side, and reacheth to Asher on the west side, and to Judah upon Jordan toward the sun rising. And the fenced cities are Zidim, Zer, and Hamath, Rakath, and Kinnereth, and Adama, and Rama, and Hazor, and Kedesh, and Ederai, and Enhazor, and Iron, and Migdael, and Horem, Beth Anath, and Beth Shemesh, nineteen cities with their villages. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Naphtali, according to their families, the cities, and their villages. And the seventh lot came out for the tribe of the children of Dan, according to their families. And the coast of their inheritance was Zora, and Eshtael, and Irshemesh, and Shealabin, and Ajelon, and Jethla, and Elon, and Thimnatha, and Ekron, and Elteke, and Gibbethon, and Baalath, and Jehud, and Benabirak, and Gathrimon, and Majarkon, and Rakon, and with the border before Japho. And the coast of the children of Dan went out too little for them. Therefore the children of Dan went up to fight against Leshem, and took it, and smote it with the edge of the sword, and possessed it, and dwelt therein, and called Leshem Dan, after the name of Dan their father. This is the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Dan, according to their families, these cities with their villages. When they had made an end of dividing the land for inheritance by their coasts, the children of Israel gave an inheritance to Joshua the son of Nun among them. According to the word of the Lord, they gave him the city which he asked, 
even Timnasira in Mount Ephraim, and he built the city and dwelt therein. These are the inheritances which Eleazar the priest, and Joshua the son of Nun, and the heads of the fathers of the tribes of the children of Israel, divided for an inheritance by Lot in Shiloh, before the Lord, at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. So they made an end of dividing the country. The Lord also spake unto Joshua, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, saying, Appoint out for you cities of refuge, whereof I spake unto you by the hand of Moses. That the slayer that killeth any person unawares and unwittingly may flee thither, and they shall be your refuge from the avenger of blood. And when he that doth flee unto one of those cities shall stand at the entering of the gate of the city, and shall declare his cause in the ears of the elders of that city, they shall take him into the city, unto them, and give him a place, that he may dwell among them. And if the avenger of blood pursue after him, then they shall not deliver the slayer up into his hand, because he smote his neighbor unwittingly, and hated him not before time. And he shall dwell in that city until he stand before the congregation for judgment, and until the death of the high priest that shall be in those days. Then shall the slayer return, and come unto his own city, and to his own house, unto the city from whence he fled. And they appointed Kadesh in Galilee, and Mount Naphtali, and Shechem, and Mount Ephraim, and Kirjath Arba, which is Hebron, in the mountain of Judah. And on the other side, Jordan, by Jericho eastward, they assigned Bezir in the wilderness, upon the plain, out of the tribe of Reuben, and Ramoth in Gilead, out of the tribe of Gad, and Golan in Bashan, out of the tribe of Manasseh. These were the cities appointed for all the children of Israel, and for the stranger that sojourneth among them, that whosoever killeth any person at unawares might flee thither, and not die by the hand of the avenger of blood, until he stood before the congregation. Psalm 81. To the chief musician, upon Kittith. A Psalm of Asaph. Sing aloud unto God our strength. Make a joyful noise unto the God of Jacob. Take a psalm, and bring hither the timbrel, the pleasant harp of the psaltery. Blow off the trumpet in the new moon, in the time appointed, on our solemn feast day. For this was a statute for Israel, and a law of the God of Jacob. This he ordained in Joseph for a testimony, when he went out to the land of Egypt, where I heard a language that I understood not. I removed his shoulder from the burden, his hands were delivered from the pots. Thou calledest in trouble, and I delivered thee. I answered thee in the secret place of thunder. I approved thee at the waters of Meribah. Selah. Hear, O my people, and I will testify unto thee, O Israel, if thou wilt hearken unto me. There shall no strange god be in thee, neither shalt thou worship any strange god. For I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. My people would not hearken to my voice, and Israel would none of me. So I gave them up to their own hearts as lust, and they walked in their own counsels. Oh, that my people had hearkened unto me, and Israel had walked in my ways. I should soon have subdued their enemies, and turned my hand against their adversaries. The haters of the Lord should have submitted themselves unto him, but their time should have endured forever. He should have fed them also with the finest of the wheat, and with honey out of the rock should I have satisfied thee. Proverbs chapter 15 verses 1 through 5 A soft answer turneth away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. The tongue of the wise useth knowledge aright, but the mouth of fools poureth out foolishness. The eyes of the Lord are in every place, beholding the evil and the good. A wholesome tongue is a tree of life, but perverseness therein is a breach in the spirit. A fool despiseth his father's instruction, but he that regardeth reproof is prudent. Ecclesiasticus chapter 15 he that feareth the Lord will do good, and he that hath the knowledge of the law shall obtain her. And as a mother shall she meet him, and receive him as a wife married of a virgin. With the bread of understanding shall she feed him, and give him the water of wisdom to drink. He shall be stayed upon her, and shall not be moved, and shall rely upon her, and shall not be confounded. She shall exalt him above his neighbors, and in the midst of the congregation shall she open his mouth. He shall find joy in a crown of gladness, and she shall cause him to inherit an everlasting name. But foolish men shall not attain unto her, and sinners shall not see her. For she is far from pride, and men that are liars cannot remember her. Praise is not seemly in the mouth of a sinner, for it was not sent him of the Lord. For praise shall be uttered in wisdom, and the Lord will prosper it. Say not thou, Is it through the Lord that I fell away? For thou oughtest not to do the things that he hateth. Say not thou, He hath caused me to err, for he hath no need of the sinful man. The Lord hateth all abomination, and they that fear God love it not. He made himself man from the beginning, and left him in the hand of his counsel. If thou wilt, to keep the commandments, and perform acceptable faithfulness. 
He has set fire and water before thee. Stretch forth thy hand unto whether thou wilt. Before man is life and death, and whether him liketh shall be given him. For the wisdom of the Lord is great, and he is mighty in power, and beholdeth all things. And his eyes are upon them that fear him, and he knoweth every work of man. He hath commanded no man to do wickedly, neither hath he given any man license to sin.